welcome to this week on Way Out Here. Today we're going to make a smoked meatloaf. And actually it won't be today, we'll actually be doing it tomorrow. Um, so we're gonna do um, a pound of ground elk, a pound of ground beef, a pound of bre spicy um, breakfast sausage. We're gonna fry up some bacon, some onion, and add these ingredients. And we'll come back when it's cooking. All right, so the bacon's done cooking here. I'm gonna get it out. Get it draining. We're retaining the bacon grease. I'm gonna cook the uh, the onions in it. Saute them for a few minutes till they're opaque. All right, so our bacon here is fried. We got our breakfast sausage, ground elk, and ground beef all ready to go. So I'm gonna combine all this stuff together, a couple of duck eggs and our ingredients, and I'll show you when I'm mixing it all up. All right, so we got the duck eggs in there, bacon, meat, I'm adding our onions and this terribly disgusting, don't eat it, bacon fat. Super bad for you, it'll clog your arteries, they're just gonna slam right shut. <laughs> we're gonna do a few tablespoons of this molasses barbecue sauce. It calls for half a cup, but I don't do quite that much. Some mustard. Sure. That's my favorite stuff. Also had to cap a half a cup ketchup. I'm not gonna do that much. I'm just gonna finish off this this bottle. Should be plenty. I'll get it mixed up and get it ready to go in the pans. All right, so we got a meat mixture all mixed up here. One thing I forgot was uh, I'd add. Uh, Breadcrumbs, it calls for two cups. We only had about a cup left or a half cup left, so it is what it is. But nice, you know, fairly firm mixture. So I have my kind of redneck here uh, loaf pans with a divider in the middle to create two loaves. We'll start with that one. it in nice and tight so you don't have any bubbles in it or anything. And I was thinking that we were going to have to use a third loaf pan. I think we can squeeze this into this pan just fine. Oh. It's got to be just fine. That was good. I want to eat it right now. That's does smell good. We're not going to barbecue it or smoke it until tomorrow. This uh, <clears throat> recipe is from Cosmos Barbecue, and we'll link the uh, link his video down below. And all the ingredients and everything. Of course, he uses his uh, his brand of seasonings and whatnot, and we're using stuff that we have, but the recipe is fairly similar. 
So those two beautiful things will go in the freezer until tomorrow and we'll bring them out and season them and stick them on the smoker. Okay, so <clears throat> these were in the, in the freezer overnight. Got the grill heated up to 275. Now we're gonna do a light, light coating of mustard and then uh, put some seasonings. We're gonna do today, Scarlett, you wanna get in there and wipe the mustard all over that one. All sides without dripping it down too bad. Mm -hmm. It's cold. On the front side too, right here. That was when you freeze meat. Yeah, they're giant blocks of ice, pretty much. Meat ice. All sides. All sides. Yep. Good girl. Okay, then we're gonna do just a light seasoning of pepper. sides except the bottom Some a uh, little bit of paprika. Basically, making our own barbecue rub without uh, any fancy mixing of exact components. I'm sure it'll taste just fine. Some uh, this is the Fort Collins Butcher Rub Spice Blend. The tea and spice exchange. Yeah, it came from the Fort Collins store. We've had them on there several other our videos. Really good stuff. Tastes delicious, and the tea does too. Last thing is going to be a little bit of their kicking, kicking garlic salt. Just a little bit on the top. I'm not going to do the sides on this one. Give it a little bit of garlic and salt kick on the top. And we'll get these things on the smoker and going. Alright, so there's the meat loaves going on the smoker, 275. It'll be an hour or two until we can fit a put a meat probe in it and they'll probably cook for about three hours or so until it gets to about 160, 165. Okay, we're about an hour and a half almost into this cook. Get our meat probes. Oh, that smells good. into the remote thermometer and start monitoring the temperature up to about 165. Okay, we're about five to eight degrees away from 165 internal temperature, so I'm gonna slather some homemade barbecue sauce on these two beauties here. Look 
Okay, we'll give it about, probably about 10 or 15 minutes more to be ready. Okay, we're only about uh, two degrees away from temperature, so we're gonna take these out and uh, bring them in the house. Magnificent meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's cut you a slice off of here. Mm. Why don't you take a bite of that and tell us how it tastes? <laughs> no fork needed. <laughs> tastes good. You like it? What's it taste like? Pastrami. <laughs> tastes like pastrami. <laughs> Does it what about what about elk meatballs? Does it kind of taste like elk meatballs? Yeah. Yeah. And bacon, and onion. Good Not stuff. Really. You just can't stop eating it, can you? He likes it. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it tastes like as long as it tastes good, right? Exactly. All right. Thanks for watching from way out here. We hope you enjoyed our smoked meatloaves. Say good night. Bye.